Today, I'm going to share with you three critical issues that will affect your ownership experience with the VinFast, and I believe VinFast must address quickly. Take effing action, put it together, and subscribe to Tom Penn's channel on YouTube now. <laughs> yeah, I like it, it's crazy. So let me just show you that uh, I've owned this car for about, I guess two weeks, and I put about a thousand kilometers on the car already so I'm speaking from experience here right I have driven the car for about a thousand kilometers over two weeks I've used the car a lot I, I, I drive it every day and I want to share with you three big problems that I have with the VinFast VF8 and I believe that VinFast must address quickly in order to keep customers happy the customers in Vietnam and more importantly because North America is VinFast's biggest market, the American customers. If these issues get to North America, then it will surely damage the VinFast brand. Um, so I, I wanna, really wanna share that with you. So all you VinFast fans, stop attacking me, stop intimidating me, stop threat threatening me. I'm trying to help you. So the first biggest issue is, you already know that this car has random EV faults, has random drive system faults. When, when you get these two errors, the car cannot move. We already have two videos showing the car stop in the middle of the road or at the uh, charging station, and we have to call VinFast, and VinFast send a truck, and uh, the truck driver following VinFast instructions basically use a wrench to disconnect the battery. There's a 12 volt battery in the front. Disconnect the battery and reconnect it, and that resolves the problem and it's a temporary fix it's not a permanent fix because it will happen again and this is a common problem with the VinFast VF E34 which is actually the first electric car made in Vietnam only for the domestic market and because I own that car as well I, I know to carry this with me at all times Be any VinFast owner should put this on the keychain this is the key to any VinFast car so now I know I need to do this for the VFA as well I believe this is a software issue and the only way right now to reset the software is by disconnecting the battery and uh, I'm happy to report that VF E34 this problem has pretty much been resolved I haven't used this with my E34 for a long time but this is still happening with the VFA uh, I hope VinFast will resolve this quickly the second biggest issue I have with this car is again software right so with the VFA, everything is controlled in this dash. There's no other buttons other than the, you know, the, the gear change buttons here. Uh, there's no other way to access functions in the car except this big display, which is wonderful. I love it. The problem I want to tell you is about the lights, all right? So you go here and uh, you can set the lights to auto or on or parking or off. And let me tell you, this does not work, all right? So if you set the lights on, you turn the car off, you turn the car back on, you get in the car, you think the light is on, and you drive away. But actually, the light is off, all right? So this actually happened to me uh, some days ago. So I drove away thinking the light is on because it says on in the display here, but actually the light is off. And then eventually I was stopped by a police officer, I, actually two of them on a motorbike. And then I realized my, the lights are off, all right? So I was trying to explain, no, 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 officer, you know, I just got this car, it's a new car, and the light is broken. You think they give a shit? <laughs> no, they don't, right? So uh, I, got, I got pretty upset uh, because, you know, I'm innocent, all right? So I took out my camera and I start recording. I start recording, oh look, the, the lights are off, but the, 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 the display says on, and look at this car, and I got stopped by the fucking police. All right, I actually did that. I actually, I actually recorded police, and I called them fucking police, all right? And, and, 
And then, and then, uh, actually, the police officers were pretty nice. They were, they stayed calm, right? And then I, they asked me to go back into the car, and I did. And they just asked me, uh, "Can I see the phone?" And then, and I gave them the phone. They took the phone and they deleted my videos. They. Did. I, I wish I had those videos because I could show you. I could, I could show you that actually happened. Because if I don't show you that, you wouldn't believe me. You'll think I'm faking it. But actually, that actually happened. So the police officers, they considered my situations and they let me go. They actually just let me go without penalizing me. So, so I appreciate that, police officers. But it, it is a real problem. Uh, again, this I believe is a software issue. Uh, they really should get a new firmware out to uh, owners of VFA as soon as possible. Now, I want to talk about the third major problem with this car, all right? Which is also another major safety issue. All of the three problems I share with you today has to do with safety. Whether the light on or off, that, that's a safety issue. You think the light is on, but it's actually off. That, that could endanger yourself. The car could stop at any time. That's also a safety issue. Now, the third issue has to do with the turning signal right here, all right? This thing right here. So first of all, VinFast has a different turning signal. It doesn't work like any turning signal in other cars. In other cars, when you turn, it will lock in position. After you finish the turn, it will actually cancel the turning signal. That's how most cars work. But this one doesn't work like that. So you press it, it doesn't get in the lock position. It will cancel based on, I guess, software, all right? So the turning signal can be canceled at any time. It's unpredictable. So let's say you're going into a turn and then you turn on the turning signal and then it gets canceled and you go into the turn and there's a police officer waiting over there and then they stop you because they think you did not turn on the turning signal. Every time now I turn the car, when I turn into uh, another street, I'm very anxious, I'm nervous because what I have to do is I have to hold this thing because I don't want it to cancel on me, all right? Maybe I have to like hit it four or five times to make sure that the signal is on while I go through the turn. So I think that that is a major issue and I, I know VinFast knows about this. I think VinFast knows about all of these issues and I think they need to release the firmware or at least call me to go to the, the, the service center and get the, 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 the firmware updated as soon as possible because these are safety issues. Now, again, I have to emphasize, I'm not doing this to destroy the VinFast brand. I'm not doing this to say anything bad about VinFast. I really want a great Vietnamese product, a Vietnamese car, a Vietnamese electric car, right? So that's why I'm sharing this with you. And again, we're running firmware version number one. So let's see, we go to settings, right? And then we go to uh, information, and then we go to firmware. We are running version 1.0, all right? I'm, I'm like the first adopter of the VFA, right? And I understand, I'm gonna go through some pains and I'm willing to do that. But it's even better if I share these things with you so that we can all improve the vehicle together. And then VinFast can build a, a great electric car that will be enjoyed by car owners worldwide. Isn't that what we want, right? So take some fucking action, especially you VinFast. Uh, let's make this car great. And there's so many great things about this car I will cover in future videos. Don't be a fucktard.